And uh, today we've got Carol and Carly Rio of Rio Visuals. That's up in Calgary, Canada. And they are mother and daughter. Um, Carly is the daughter. <laughs> that would make Carol, of course. The sure? mother. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for clarifying, Don. <laughs> I will, I will um, say their website is uh, R-I-O-U-X-V-I-S-U-A-L-S dot com. Ryo visuals um, and they do a lot of different things you guys are doing video and and still photography and light painting tell us a little bit how you got going uh, started I don't know how long ago 10 12 years ago something like that uh, doing women's portraiture and then I found you I think it was in 2012 through um, Creative Live, and that's when I heard about the Project 52, and so I went and um, joined that, and then sorry, the dogs are moving, so the table is moving, now the dogs are gone. Um, so then, um, yeah, just kept learning, kept finding out about stuff, learned about cinegraphs. I actually ended up learning video being because I was too intimidated by Photoshop. So I thought I'd learn Premiere Pro first. So uh, that's how actually how I ended up learning about video was um, forcing myself to learn that program because I'd always done a little bit of video here and there over the years and learned about cinemagraphs through video and then uh, learned about light painting mm, three years ago. And then, yeah, just bumping into things. <laughs> so, no, so no real master plan there it sounds like nope there wasn't there was a there was a desire to uh give women pictures that they uh really liked about themselves and uh a desire to uh for women to exist in pictures because my son said to me did you leave us for for a whole bunch of years in there mom i said why he said because there's no pictures of you like that's because I was taking them. Uh -huh. So I wanted to make sure that went out into the world and, uh, you know, tried to change that. And then one thing led to another thing. And, you know, sometimes you get asked to do things and you don't know how to do them. You're like, sure, I could do that. <laughs> and so yeah, absolutely. You about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never, <laughs> never say no. Not when there's YouTube. You can exactly. pretty much figure out how to do anything on YouTube. Um, <laughs> So how did uh, Carly get part of the business? Well, she kept coming to me trying to figure out different ideas over and over and over. And I was very easily accessible because I lived at home. So <laughs> it just kind of happened that way. And then realized I had a bit of a knack for it. And the way that we bounce ideas off each other ended up being really cool. So it let us push boundaries that alone neither of us would have done. And I've taken, I don't know, 200,000 pictures of Carly over the yeah. years since I learned things. So it goes back uh, a long way. Um, and yeah, and it, we just just sort of grew into it. That's cool. What's it like working together? Oh, it's rad. The, <laughs> the best parts about it is you don't have to do a lot of extra explaining or anything because we know each other so well, right? Huh? So there's no... I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> we can interpret each other well. So we See? can roll through <laughs> something really quickly. Um, and another really great part about it is when I'm thinking, processing, coming up with ideas, um, some, and sometimes you know, when you're with clients, I tend to get very strange expressions on my face and I don't say anything. So Carly's there <laughs> to interpret. She's so, fine, it's okay. <laughs> I don't look disinterested or pissed off or <laughs> I'm a stroke. Yeah. 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 So so she's great to that. It was bumpy in the beginning. Right at the very beginning it was awesome. And then we went through about a year and a half where it was uh, where it was pretty bumpy because we weren't communicating to each other all the time in a way that the other person was hearing. So we really, really, really worked on that. And I, it, I mean, it, it benefited our relationship personally and business-wise. Before you get a partner in anything, go take a DISC test. <laughs> <laughs> it solves so many problems. 
And then of course it teaches us how to listen to the clients as well. Right. By everything that we, her and I went through personally. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah. And she'll do, I'm going to say anything I'll ask because I can't think of a time. <laughs> when I You better say that. <laughs> <laughs> when I asked her to do something and she flat out said no. So I have frozen her, I have soaked her, I have... She's made me lay in a pool of milk. She's made me lay in disgusting biohazard bathtubs <laughs> in the middle of the city. She's frozen me minus five in pools <laughs> with a, trying to float on a door that had a hole in it. <laughs> okay, like it's, I've glued it's things to her face. Like All you the it. petals. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I've done it. So well, it's awesome to have a partner, guinea pig partner, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> sure. Sure. Well, what's, uh, what's the work scene like there in Calgary? I imagine when it's so frozen for, what, four or five months a year, just um, that it, does it put a damper on sales? Are you still out selling and shooting or what happens? Uh, actually, um, I guess it, it differs this year. We actually did, um, uh, quite a bit of work in the winter. Uh, one of the projects being, uh, outdoors when it was wind chill minus 45 and it I'm gonna, was, I'm going to, I'm going to ask you to tell about that story here in a moment. <laughs> Shooting the trucks, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, great job, but wow. Canada. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so we, we were uh, um, around Christmas time, we try to shut it off uh, uh, the beginning of December. And then that way we can make sure that everything is done, everything's caught up. Uh, and then we also like to get some uh, portfolio shooting done during the winter. But as for the outdoor light painting, uh, that that just dies. It's, uh, it's too cold, it's too hard. Equipment, batteries, all that stuff, they just die too fast. And snow, um, snow's not my favorite thing to photograph. It's, it's, uh, too hard, too reflective. It, and it just doesn't, it just doesn't look right. And depending on, like, I know we were going to do a snowmobile this year, but we had no snow. And then February came 30 days. It was uh, minus 40. Uh, and then the sun came out and the snow went away. So in it, like two days. Yeah. So you have no, um, there's no predictability in, how it's going to happen either. So, wow. so you come up with two plans, always yeah. two plans. Always <laughs> two plans. <laughs> wow. What, uh, what's the business climate up there for, uh, photographers, commercial photographers? Are you, uh, I know you're, I know you're fairly busy, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. We've, um, um, and it started, like we said, we didn't do, we started right away in January this year. Normally it's a little bit slower than that because January, February are, are our coldest months. Um, so Alberta is, is, um, going through a massive <laughs> recession. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's definitely tough times with the uh, oil industry and whatnot. A lot of businesses are going under right now. Yeah. So, uh, but there's still, uh, like the, the concrete company that we worked with, um, they sell, they build the concrete trucks here, but they sell them all over the world. So those are the better types of clients for us to, uh, go after at this time of year. Anyone who's not based on the economics here right now. Right. Right. Like we're doing a, a shoot in a couple of weeks for, uh, the wine Institute of British Columbia. So from BC, but they're holding an event here in Alberta. So we'll be so shooting. Yeah, so, Cause BC is doing great. <laughs> wow. That's interesting. That's it. That's really interesting. Yeah. Who, um, who handles the sales in your duo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's most of the time. Yeah. Most of the time it's me. She'll write really extensive, um, proposals, quotes, pr proposals sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, but I handle all the other front end business stuff and she hand handles all the editing because you don't want to let me play you, with Photoshop. It's not useful. <laughs> you, do you do cold calling or emailing or how are you prospecting for clients? Normally it's uh, networking for me, which is not necessarily a time. Uh, Efficient. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, hello, <laughs> come on. <laughs> uh, 
that's, yeah, it's not time efficient, but you end up with bigger clients sometimes. And then actually we're doing pretty well on Google, which is super random lately, because uh, I have put no effort into SEO. I don't know what I'm doing, but people are finding us there. That's so we've cool. realized that there's a hole in what people are Googling for photography, specifically in industry and commercial. There's just not a lot of geotags being hit. Oh. Yeah, the, yeah, the clients that have found us so far this year off Google, uh, we really, really questioned them about uh, how did they find us? What were they Googling? Um, you know, that kind of thing. So we know where to fill in, um, fill in those holes. And there's, there's not a lot of people actively seeking out industrial type work here and especially not two females so that's cool. and it's really interesting work from our that's perspective very cool so tell us about the trucks tell us the, the whole story because i mean i've i've only dabbled in light painting back back in the day we ha i got a, a i had to shoot a printing press which and you know how big a printing press is this was a six color printing press it must have been 15 feet long and they wanted it totally lit. And uh, I, I, you know, I borrowed my buddy's strobes. I had my strobes. We could light maybe a third of it, you know? <laughs> um, so we had to figure out how to, to basically light paint it. And what we did was we shot it in three stages on one sheet of film. So oh. first we, sh we spent a day doing Polaroid tests and making marks on the ground where our lights would go. Then I put a sheet, one sheet of film in the eight by 10 camera. We lit the front, moved all the lights, pulled the dark slide, lit the second part, put the dark slide in, did wow. the third part. Uh, that was a two day shot for a, a, a picture of a uh, printing press, which you guys could probably do in two hours yeah. with your, your technique. So, uh, but I've never lit a cement truck at 40 degrees below zero. So, <laughs> And I'm and I'm sure very few people can claim that on their resume. It was uh, yeah, it was that was that was quite the day. I mean, we went out uh, a couple days before, went location um, scouting because they wanted toward the mountains, and so went out and did that. And then we met him, met the truck driver on the way out toward Banff at like eight in the morning or seven thirty or whatever it was, and started going along all our spots that we had picked and one spot I mean it was all cold it was all cold yeah the whole thing was cold and I don't care how much clothing you have on and how little you try to touch the equipment uh, you're gonna hate your life you're gonna <laughs> hate your life the pain in your hands oh. is astonishing and this one spot was <laughs> by a lake and the truck driver both Carly and I were all outside doing the shots and we were out there tears, for like eight minutes yeah Max. tears just pouring down our faces because the wind was blowing across the lake and i mean it was it was they're frozen all along <laughs> our, our eyes I'm like, i would actually make a kind of cool photo yeah. i'm not gonna lie I'm a little busy right now oh yeah so then we finished out oh. there and then we came into town and did the uh, indu uh the you know like in the industrial part of town with cool buildings and all that kind of stuff in the background did that part of the shoot and then that night we went to out to their place in uh, in Olds and um, did a light painting of the truck in their warehouse. So it was a long day and it was, oh my God, so cold. And it was a really funny moment of like we asked them to clean the truck, right? Because with light painting, you can see a lot of this stuff. Don't tell construction boys to clean their truck. <laughs> Turns out, I thought that would actually be pretty okay. It was so bad. <laughs> like it was literally, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But there was half lines of like, they would just wipe it off. You know when, you know, when it's really dusty on one side and kind of clean on the oh. other? It was the whole truck. It was awful. Oh my gosh. I, I mean, I, I can't imagine there's any quarter car washes open there. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, to drive cement trucks through. <laughs> to uh, drive cement, and, and that the water wouldn't freeze the moment it left the yeah, thing so, anyway. You just have a big pile of ice there stuck in the, in the mat. Yeah. So. so imagine trying to clean a cement truck with a Swiffer. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, when you, it's when you call it Bob's uh, auto detailing. Yeah. Ah, yeah. That's yeah. Important, buddy. <laughs> yeah. It was it was a great day though. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, that's cool. 
Um, I'm, I'm right now. I'm looking on the uh, on your website, and I see this big piece of machinery here, light painted. Um, was that part of this job or a different job? Which one? It's a like a backhoe or something. A big. No, that different job. The backhoe. Yeah, that's. Uh... No, so that oh, one. Yeah, that one is cool though because I found it just in a field. <laughs> so it's like, let's go do this. Yeah, that one. Um, so whatever, we just, you know, slightly trespassed and started doing our thing. And the before and afters on that one are really cool. But that was right when uh, Fort Mac was on fire. So, you know, we had very, very Albertan, um, but we had everybody just running towards the flames to help everyone. People were filling their trucks up with gas to fill up cars on the highways. They were showing up with water and food and, you know, not a lot of communities race toward the burning city. Uh, it's not uh, super common. So that was kind of our little tribute, like you know, Alberta, uh, strong kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, forest fires suck. I mean, they do, but they do make nice sunsets. It's uh, they do. <laughs> yeah, it's very it's a very small little little uh silver lining to the cloud but still yeah um, <laughs> true i story. was in uh, southern california my wife and i lived in la when the uh, mount saint helens exploded and about three to four days after mount saint helens exploded the ash reached down to where we were and we had ash on our car about you know 10 11 feet 11 inches deep every day for three days um but man, it made for interesting sunsets. It just, it, yeah, it does. You could see the sun at two o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, you yeah. could see the orange ball of, mm -hmm. you know, and it would reflect across the water, which was now sort of this soupy green color. And it was really pretty cool. Yeah. But, yeah I mean, it was, I mean, it sucked for, you know, the people in South, Mount St. Helens, but for us photographers yeah. down on Manhattan Beach, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're making the best out of every situation. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I wonder, I, I, and I still wonder if that uh, that dust didn't uh, take a couple of years off our life, breathing that stuff in. Oh, it was terrible. Yeah. Um, I was going to go to your uh, industrial page here because uh, it is interesting that you guys uh, um, are seeking out. Uh, industrial kind of work and uh, and getting it up there that's pretty interesting it, it well it's it's um it's i like doing work that changes and you're learning things along the way mm -hmm. so industrial is a great way to do that and as as soon as we get into uh, as soon as the the businesses start recovering up there um you'll be ahead of the game be well positioned for it yeah and it's not you just fell into yeah, yeah. that's, that's God very cool. somebody sure <laughs> we yeah, can do that. We can do that. <laughs> i know you shoot a lot of cars and automobile stuff tell us a, tell us a little bit about what's going on there oh I, it's just mostly because i love it <laughs> that's uh there's just something sexy and artful about shooting different types of art really so cars, and they're also very easy to learn light painting on. Easy. Uh -huh. uh, okay, what I mean by easy. Just my, Photoshop that. <laughs> my definition of easy is that they are super complex, but they're little. So you have to be very detail oriented, but if you screw it up, you can generally cover it up a bit. Is this, your, this is your motorcycle, right, Carly? Yeah, it was. That one was my uh, 800, and then I got a 1500 after that ah do you still do you still have one no no and it's a sore spot don't make me go into that i'll cry <laughs> <laughs> wow i i figured i figured out you know after two failed attempts to go to alaska i've kind of figured out a plan uh i, I seem to wipe out at about 14 days so instead of starting in, in arizona i'll just start in seattle hey yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah fly to seattle rent a bike go yep. up to alaska and come yep. back yep. i've already ridden from here to canada there and back i've ridden four different ways 
So yeah. I pretty much covered every way in the South you can get from here to Canada. Got that down. That counts, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now I've, I've uh, you know, I've just, I'll just go from my house to Alaska and back in, in two different years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Just plan to do it earlier than later because the, then the forest fires get going and then you get see stopped anything. again, right? Yeah, there's a, you know, you have to, you really have to weigh it because those late storms up there can be really, really cold and brutal, the late yeah. winter storms. Uh, and then, of course, if I'm there in June, then they, that's when they have the, I, you guys probably have them too, the mosquitoes the size of cockroaches. I know. Yeah, <laughs> we've always had a joke where you get out of your car, and you take a bag of blood, huck it that way, and run to the house. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> that's it's frightening. So, yeah, some of are pretty good, but who knows? So it's very cool that um, that you guys are are working up there, getting things done. It is not, it's the bad time now for Alberta. Um, uh, Calgary, I know, is 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 suffering, and uh, a lot of the of the small businesses up there are suffering. Um, but you guys seem to be barreling through now. I know that you you don't have a studio, right? A, so you're not spending money on a space that correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so ninety percent of what we do is, you know, eighty percent whatever is on is yeah is on location. And and so when you're shooting the food uh, and and um, stuff like that, you're at the restaurants. Um, the food's the exception. Yeah, most of the time. yeah. A lot of times it's uh, it's here, but it it definitely um, uh, definitely can be. That's an easy one to do on. So you're. On but you're pretty pretty mobile all the way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a couple of different uh, setups. You know, we got a light painting uh, suitcase. We've got <coughs> flashes for for smaller kind of jobs. We've got a strobe setup, reflectors in every shape possible, size, so that we can, you know, whatever the situation calls for, we just grab that bag and and go. Well. Um... I was the subject of a light painting that you guys did when I was up there. Yes. Way to uh, uh, the Rockies, Central Rockies up there. And um, I saw how you work together. Is that, uh, you want to explain that? Because the light painting thing is probably how you work together with the other shoots that you do as well, correct? So you want to explain that process? And I'll, I'll see if I can pull that picture of me up over here. Go ahead. Um, yeah, so what we basically did is we just figured out a way to divide everything. But mm -hmm. light painting is very specific because what I can see and what the camera can see are very different than what she can see as she's running the lights over everything, right? So she'll be trying to like do a highlight and I'm like, no, you got to go left. You got to go left. And she's like, what are you talking about? There's nothing there. <laughs> I'm like 50 feet away from the motorcycle, right? <laughs> yeah. Walking away, away, away. And so Carly, you're, you're looking at it on um, a laptop or? Yeah, on an iPad. Yeah. Use, uh, we use a Cam Ranger. And, uh, and, and so she's sitting in a chair right behind the camera. So she can see where the highlights are falling because she's fairly close to um right to the lens right and then and then i check it with the cam yeah and then i'm running around lighting everything up and that was when we really learned how to communicate with each other because it turns out left back straight to the side this all means different things depending on where you're standing yeah. <laughs> so we had to get really good at coming up with a clear concise language <laughs> well you guys were so efficient and and at the time carly was a little under weather from a from a procedure or something and not feeling very well but she sat there and just powered through it that was impressive yeah, it, you can definitely, you can do light painting by yourself, but it's, it's just Ooh. so much easier and, and quicker if you can do it with somebody. And, do and really, you, I just have to sit in a chair and get all bundled up, so I'm all right. <laughs> and and um, yeah, it was summertime, it was cold out there. I mean, mm -hmm. well, for me, I mean, for me, yeah, it was... Yeah, in Canada, yeah. Yeah, well, I was like, start, wow. Just, 
start just before the sun goes down and then you got to wait right so it's, it's actually dark yep so it's nice to have both of us there to talk to uh the client and you know because you're we're literally standing there waiting yeah so you and get I, your establishment shot before yeah. the sun goes down yeah and then yeah you have to wait way past uh, blue hour that's yeah. probably yeah. a good hour before you can start to light paint then yeah, yeah it can it can be yeah yeah it's usually around 45 minutes but it's um yeah, it takes some time. So we bring coffee and chairs and music and we chat and hang out. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think it's I think it's a very cool um I think it's really great for industrial. I think there's yeah so many possibilities there. Uh I can't I can only imagine that your your reach photographically is just gonna continue farther. Uh, f farther into Alberta, you don't get you don't get jobs in the U.S. Right? That's is there. It gets complicated. Yeah, going into the U.S. Yeah. So I absolutely would. But and there's there's not a whole lot of it clients. Def it up. definitely gets complicated because then you got to get. Uh, it's not a not a you know fi fish kill or uh, Idaho is not a real big ad town so. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, uh, you know, we're right above a fairly unpopulated part of the States. Oh yeah. So. I came straight down from Calgary Yeah, and I went across the border uh, on this little bitty two lane road. And I'll tell you this, the road from Calgary to the U S border was perfectly smooth. No, mm -hmm. no. It was just an incredible road. There was nobody on it when I was there. It's absolutely deserted. I got to the America uh, US border, uh, went through b the border there, and then the road turned into a freaking nightmare. I hit a chuck hole in the shade so deep that it almost threw me off the bike. I was amazed that I was able to keep the bike upright. I mean, the shocks buried, you know, just boom, yeah. all the way down. Never just then I just, I just had to like creep out in the sun and there was nobody on that road either. So I'd go on the other side of the road so I could see where the, the sun was hitting the road and it was terrible. Yeah. Um, oh, man. But uh, yeah, your, your roads are amazing. The only thing you all don't have down there are too many gas stations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's not a lot of gas stations down yeah. there. Yeah. My, <laughs> my motorcycle eats a lot of gas. There were twice, twice I was in, in Calgary in the, in that, uh, vicinity of calgary going oh man yeah, yeah. <laughs> i actually run that ran out of gas at one time and yeah on one of the bikes we actually put on uh, an extra uh tank onto it a reserve tank on the 1500 oh, yeah. it was like hmm, that's not going anywhere yeah. <laughs> yeah oh yeah well i i thought the motorcycle would get great mileage it gets less mileage than my elantra <laughs> Hey, it was really great to have you guys on and chat a little bit about your business up there. Well, thank you very much. Mother, was... father, I mean, a mother, daughter um, relationship in this business is rare, uh, but a mother, daughter uh, doing commercial and especially uh, industrial is even rarer. So um, that's pretty cool that you guys are doing this. Yeah. Well, and it's fun. It's interesting. It's fun. Keeps us connected. Absolutely. Well, everybody, thank you uh, for joining us. And thank you, Carly and Carol, for uh, spending a little bit of time with us. And uh, the links to Carol's website are down below. And uh, I'll see you later. All right. Have a good Thanks, day, Don. Thanks.